Hi, welcome to eLearning with Evoke. Now I want to just give you a little quick visual instruction on how to open the modules from your email account. So you will have received a little message here similar to the one that I've got demonstrated that I've shared an item with you and step one is to click on the link below which is this lovely big blue link here and depending on the module it'll be a YouTube module for our course. So before you do that we just need to make sure that you're connected with Google Chrome because we use Google Drive as, as a, a storage device that you can access. So if Google Drive, Google Chrome, if these are all new terms to you, don't worry that's what this YouTube's all about. So first of all step one click on the link below. Let's try that. Double clicking on that will take us up to, in a moment, may take a moment, up to a page that looks like this. And if you have installed Google Chrome previously, you'll see that it's quite quick and it will work for you. So here on the left hand side, you'll see a little download icon and it actually comes it up as with the bubble writing to download the current version. You would just simply click on that and the loading of the document will commence. You'll then see down below probably in your tools that your document will have come up after you've downloaded it. So I've just clicked on that there and what we want to do now is go into File, Save As, Enable Editing, Enable saving and just save it somewhere there on your computer, perhaps your desktop. I'm just going to put it into my documents there. And then what's required is for you to actually put your name at the front of that. Okay, so I'm going to put my name, Cheryl, and then Hall, leave the rest of it the same, and I'm going to save that somewhere where I know where I can access it. So I might even create a new file for it under my document. So I'll just find a spot in there, right click, new folder and I'll call it um, evoke training. You can call it whatever you like, it's your own folder there. So once I've clicked into there, I've renamed it already and I've hit save. Just continue through, that's fine. So now you have your own copy of our module. Now you may be able to shut out of it at this point and try that or come and replay the YouTube with a little bit further troubleshooting that I'm going to share with you. Let's say that you don't have Google Chrome and can't get to that step. So now I've actually opened my email through Internet Explorer and some people would have Internet Explorer as their default web browser. So I'm using a Gmail account and already Gmail's telling me that I'm using a, a version of Internet Explorer which Gmail no longer supports. Gmail, Google Chrome, it's all part of the whole Google family and it suggests that I upgrade to a modern browser such as Google Chrome. So simply by clicking at this step onto Google Chrome would take me through the steps to upload Google Chrome. You might be accessing it from Hotmail or another account. So let's just go through as if my web browser was Internet Explorer and see what happens now if I double click on the link. Firstly it's a lot slower to upload and up here we're having the bar you are using a version of Internet Explorer which is unsupported. It's not going to open it up correctly. So it suggests that I update my browser with Google Chrome and that's what you're going to have to do now at this stage. It doesn't mean that if, I mean, if you're very comfortable using Internet Explorer or Firefox or another web browser, this is not going to warp or make any difference to your computer. It's just to open this file that you're going to have as an option, Google Chrome as a web browser. So, you know, I'm not asking you to make it your default web browser. Let's just go through that process. So I'm going to double click on Google Chrome. And 
and we do accept and install. It's now installing that program onto your computer. The icon will be on your website, on your desktop I should say. So I've actually got it there here and it's, it's also on my toolbar there. Alright, so now that I have that, let's see if I can go through and download. Then I would open the document. Great, so we've got that document. We enable editing and then we go into File, Save As because we're now creating this file uh, with your name on it onto your computer. So you would put your name in here. So I'm going to put in at the front Cheryl Hall. Leave the rest of the information the same and I'm going to save it there on my desktop if I've got that option or just throw it there in my, my documents file. So I'll create a new one. Right click, new file, open and I'm going to save that there. Great, so that's where you will save your module to. You'll be able to work through it all, saving as you go, which you'll hear in another YouTube instruction, and submit as a one-job lot. If you're still having any difficulties, don't hesitate to give us a phone call. We can ring you straight back so it doesn't cost you any phone money and we'll help you resolve the problem.